these beautiful people on today's video we're going to be converting another piece of our acrylic pour artwork into a beautiful geode style art if that's something you're interested in please stay tuned and as always please like subscribe and comment it definitely helps the channel out so on this piece we are beginning with an orange um, shaded base that includes some metallic um, brown, some bronze, some true brown, as well as some gold metallic accents as well. So we're going to be embellishing it by using some colors that are found in that same mixture. We're using some uh, dark brown fire glass. We're also going to use some amber tinted glass instead of our normal white or clear. And then for a little bit more texture, we're using some of our decorative filler sand as well as some gold foil flakes. So just like we do with any of the resin embellishments, we coat our painting evenly using our two-part epoxy resin. Now, it's nothing that says you have to go with the same one I choose, but I've had some great success with this one and I'll link it down at the bottom of this video. But for this, we wanna make sure you cover end to end and at the same time, as you see right here, cover your edges because you don't wanna have any exposure on the edges. But additionally, while I'm using a brush, I wanna make sure I don't have too much drippage going on with the edge coverings as well. After you finish coating uh, a painting with resin, that drip that gets on the edges, if it hardens, it is terrible to try to get off. And many times you ruin your painting. So right here you see we're grabbing our torch. Using that torch on resin is definitely a requirement in my opinion because it helps to get rid of any of those air bubbles that you may have under that resin and you don't want to see those when it hardens so you go in here accenting the uh, dark brown fire glass on both points we'd already decided on the pattern that i was going to follow and thankfully once i put the base coat down and we made the original pour the colors flowed exactly in a pattern that would present me with exactly something I could follow. It's great when that works out, but it's not a requirement. You have a painting that's an acrylic pour that has any kind of texture, any kind of flow or pattern to it, there's a good chance you can kind of create your own pattern if you're embellishing it in this way. Now looking at the way that the colors were moving on this painting, I decided I was gonna follow the center of it again um, with some more of the decorative filler set as well as a highlight almost a trench style division in the painting with the amber um, coated glass now if you notice I'm moving a lot of small pieces around in here with your embellished paintings you want to be intentional you don't want to just have things kind of flying all over the place and this stuff will move once you first put it down it's all small it's all fluid especially these foil flakes that i'm putting in now be intentional take your time put them where you want them to be you're creating a piece of art you don't want it to look like a hodgepodge of things that just kind of got thrown together so see here we're adding in those gold flakes as i mentioned before the gold foil flakes are really going to work for some of that texture and that depth on your artwork and there's a way to ensure that you keep that and you'll see that once we start to finish the painting toward the end with the resin coating. Adding in some of that decorative filler sand. Um, I'm using white in this instance because I know that once I add my coating of resin to the top of it, it's going to uh, take a lot of that brightness away, but still keep it as a highlight. And that's what I want with this painting. As I mentioned before, we are going to finish off this piece of art by recoating all of those embellishments we added in another thin layer of resin. Your resin is working as your hardener, your protectant, and your glue or adhesive. Now, when you want to keep that texture that you've created, as I mentioned with the gold foil, you can't just pour it. You want to drizzle it on. Drizzling that on there allows you to keep that texture and it will harden it and it will allow it to hold 
once everything settles and that's what you want. And just like that, we have a completed piece of artwork. As you see, those golds and those browns that we use in the embellishments, they definitely pull out and work very well with those accents in the background of the acrylic pour. I love the texture that we get from an acrylic pour, especially when we're embellishing it this way, because it really does give us so much more depth. I really hope you guys enjoyed this one. As always, please like, comment, and subscribe. Now y'all go ahead and go be great. Peace.